It's going to be an intimate evening with me. Me and my wonderful band and my very good friend Lance Ellington. I'm going to be talking about me. We can ask me any question you like. I'm going to tell you about my career and my life. But we're going to do it with dance and we're going to do it with song. And it's going to be a great night. I'm absolutely thrilled being a judge on Strictly Come Dancing. I can't tell you how excited I am every week to watch the couples performing their numbers, knowing exactly what they've been through to get to this point. And with my fingers are crossed that they don't have any mishaps. I'm all up to speed on what mishaps go like. I've had a lot of those over the years. So I'm very, very excited about being a judge and loving every second. For my pre-show routine, I like to have everything set up and ready in the wings, certainly if I'm doing quick changes. So everything is organized way before the show. And then I like to get ready into my opening outfit at least half an hour. And then I'll, I like to wander around. Can't sit still, no surprise to anyone. And then as I'm standing in the wings, before I go on, I like to be quiet and nobody talk to me. I like to be in the wing on my own, preferably, so nobody like to talk, a lot of people like to talk in the wings. I like to just stand and then go on, clear of mind. Otherwise, I'll forget my opening bit. Guaranteed. Have you seen the well to do? Big difference between dancing on the show and being a judge, of course, is that I'm guaranteed to make the final. That's the most exciting thing for me. And also, I don't get critiqued by the other three. They're so mean. That has always been the worst part about the show for me, is being voted off. I've always hated that bit and wish I could have stayed into the final and every year I've done it but it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. So uh, being the judge is a joy to stay there every week and watch the fabulous dancing. I have so many wonderful Strictly memories, of which I shall talk about on the audience with Anton Devec. But a couple of highlights, the moment I had with Brucey when we did Me and My Shadow. Another great highlight was we opened the show on Musicals Week with a great ensemble piece that I sang and walked through the number with everybody. It's called Anything Can Happen on the Strictly Stage. And I love that moment. But then I've had many classic moments with my wonderful partners, whether it's falling down with Ruth Langsford at the end of the Paso Doble, whether it's flying Anne Widdicombe in or throwing her across the floor and skidding, whether it's the Viennese Wilson and Emma Barton or dancing with Katie there and making the final oh, Even the very first moment on Strictly Come Dancing with Leslie Garrett walking out on the first show. Well, I've always said I never mind who they put me with on the show. I've always enjoyed dancing with all the ladies I've danced with over the years. But there's one person I'd love to have danced with over the years, and that would have been Darcy Bustle. I never got a chance to dance with Dame Darcy herself. And that would have been a lot of fun. So, I don't know, maybe sometime in the future. I've had some incredible moments on stage over the years, whether it's just great numbers or fabulous moments. But the, the funnest moments really are the bits that go wrong, as was always the case. I've fallen on stage with a partner in my arms once. The audience seemed to really enjoy that. A bit harsh. Forgetting lyrics to songs is inside, you're dying, but the audience seemed to be going, oh, hey, he's forgotten that one. Things like that really are, are fun moments that you can laugh about after. <laughs> but at the time, you go, oh, give you the twitch. But they seem to be the fun moments. An audience with Anton Debeck, that's me, on sale now. <laughs>